Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. We're going to take a look at um, iOS 7 uh, and inter-app audio. <clears throat> so to do this we're going to use Looptical, which at the moment is the only host app, I think. Um, well, it's the only one I can seem to get working that works with iOS 7 and inter-app audio. So first of all we'll open a Looptical. Okay, now I've set up this little thing here, uh, all it's in there at the moment is just some synth drums that I recorded for this demo, basically just to give me some timing. Okay, so, <clears throat> first of all, what we want to do is go to, um, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to go to our track list here. Okay, we get that by accessing the, the thing. And we're going to add a track. Now, as soon as I hit audio, you're going to get, we're going to get some weird sort of uh, cross-talking because we're going to be picking up through the microphone of the iPad and because I'm direct recording as well. So, <clears throat> there you go. There it is. Now, we have audio track here. We can hit audio track twice. And we have our <clears throat> audio recorder. Okay, and you'll see down here it says mic. We want to hit mic. And this will give us our available inter app audio uh, synths and things i'm pretty sure that when it's a generator after the name of the synth that means it, that it generates sound it's kind of self-explanatory okay so we're going to add some i mini now with some of these <clears throat> when you hit that it will load it up well with the likes of alchemy you have to load alchemy first okay so i'll show you that in a sec so there we have some i mini so what we're going to do now is, up here on iMini, there's the little connect thing, you know, which you can use for tabletop and stuff and audio bus and, and all the rest of it. But now they've, you've got this little transport bar here, which says into app audio transport. I'm going to hit record, which will give us our four bar counting and we'll just record four bars. <clears throat> so go back into our into app audio transport and hit loop the loop the icon and that'll take us back there now what we're going to do here is this first track we're just going to play check it recorded so we've recorded iMini um, hit audio track and you need to set the name because if you don't you'll end up with a stacks and stacks of tracks probably called audio track so probably best from the beginning to name the track so done so there we have iMini and if we go into our mixer view you can see it's the track two now is iMini so we can make adjustments there so what we're going to do now is head on over there and we're going to close iMini because I don't want to hog the CPU and we're going to go into our main screen and I'm going to find alchemy okay here it goes I'm going to leave it set on that which is one of the water presets now let me explain with the thing with alchemy I can't find anywhere on here the inter app audio transport bar which is a real pain in the bum because I have to hop back over and I only have four bars to do it, four beats to do it, because I can't find any way in Looptical. And if the developer's watching in Looptical, hey, tell me how I can increase the counting from more than one bar, because that would be really cool. So anyway, we've got Alchemy set. Head on back over there, and here we have our weird glitch thing. Now, this is important too. We need to add another track, okay? So, add audio. And we have audio track three now. <coughs> All right, so, Mike, Alchemy. Now, we can't start our recording, so what we're going to have to do is go back there. So let's get rid of Alchemy now because that will have recorded. And hit that. And let's call it Alchemy. Done. 
Now let's just go back over to there so we're not getting any weird audio glitchy things going on. And let's just check if that recorded. So let's add one more for good measure. So we hit that again, add another another audio track and double click it and let's select um so we have Galileo, Magellan, let's select let's select Nave. Nave very happily boots up for us. Okay, so now you see you have your inter app audio transport bar appears there so let's record that okay so <clears throat> again all we need to do is now I'm not sure that when you have multiple apps running I'm, I probably figure that if it's if you're filtering an effect or something you'll have the effect there as well next to loop to globe or before it so you can see what's going on but first of all we're going to just hit record which will give us our four bar counting again. Okay, that's done. So let's close Nave. And you'll see that we're back on our thing. And again, Let's just name it and go back to symptoms because you're every time that you do this, you're you've still got these are still audio channels, so they'll still be there, but you don't want to you obviously don't want to you don't want to hear that, do you, while your track's playing? So let's see how we're getting on now. And that's basically how inter-app audio works. Now, what we can do now is let's just, because hopefully that will have saved, let's open audio bus. Okay. Now, let's choose our output as looptical. Okay. And let's choose our input as uh, as Animoog. Okay. So we'll go to we'll go to Animoog first and set up a we'll just set up a sound. We'll use one of the new the new sounds from from the uh, <coughs> new packs that you can get, which are all these here, which are very 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 nice. Why can't I? Why ah. That's why. Right now, that's this is good. This is good. So you can't hear uh, any move. So let's nip back over to Looptical, and this is how you set it up with um, with Audio Bus. So same thing again. We go here, and we've got our our new track playing sort of thing, and let's go to uh, our track list, and let's add another audio track. Okay. Now. Because Alchemy is loaded, okay, it picks up, uh, Looptical picks up, so that's better than a Intap Audio straight away. It picks up Audio Bus there, and it has it as a little, a little thing there. So let's hit that there, and you can see Select Audio Input. The first thing up there is Audio Bus. Okay, so that's cool. So now we need to just, um, ah, sorry, guys. It may, I can't. It doesn't matter. Let's go here. So, so let's just play. Let's stop elliptical. 
Now you can see, you, if you've noticed, there's a, f um, a couple of things in the workflow there that uh, could be better. So let's just uh, see how we get on recording. Um, <clears throat> recording this into this. So we've got our four bar counting. Cool. So let's head back over to Looptical and let's rename that track as um, Annie Moog. Let's go back there and let's hopefully, hopefully now, um, it should be there. And that's your basic getting started with InterApp Audio, kind of how it, how it works and how you can integrate that then with Audio Bus. All right, guys, hope you've enjoyed this. I'll see you later.